In a previous iPad tutorial, I showed you that you could turn on an accessibility option to allow you to speak text. In this video, I want to show you what you can do with your text if you don't turn on the speak text option. These two settings seem to be mutually exclusive, so if you know how to make them happen simultaneously, or in conjunction with each other, I'd love to get a comment from you. So what I'm going to show you is how to highlight text and then get the context um, tools that you that pop up when you highlight a piece of text. I'm going to use iBooks so I'm on my home screen and I'm going to go into my books folder find the iBooks app, you can see it there in the bottom and I will open that up this brings up my um, library of children's books, so I'm going to um, pop into Grimm's Fairy Tales and we'll see if we can find a word that we're not quite sure what it is or maybe we want to create some notes or something. So the first one I'll show you is how to get a definition of a word. I'm going to use the word beautiful. If I wasn't quite sure what that word was, I can press and hold on it. And when I do that, I get this context menu up that allows me to do quite a few things. One of them is copy, so I could paste this into an email or a word processing document. The second one is to define, so I'm going to click on the word define. And what I want you to notice is you get a nice comprehensive um, bit of information that includes the definition, phrases that you might see it in, derivatives as well. Um, parts of speech, but then you can also click to search the web or search Wikipedia to get more information on that specific word. Since I used that word, I'm going to go ahead and highlight it again and show you the next option that I think is pretty cool, and that is to highlight a piece of text. In order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to highlight the words beautiful daughter. So what I did there is I took my handles that I have and I clicked and with my finger clicked and drug along and then if you grab either this handle or this handle you can increase or decrease your selection of text. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that handle again and show you that. I'm going to go ahead and tap highlight and I get a number of options here, but you can see the text is already highlighted for me. If I tap on the multicolor circles here, then I can pick which color I want. Maybe I want a purple highlight, or maybe I want to just underline the text, which is a nice um, thing to do. And then if I tap off of that, notice that the lines are there. One of the weird, or I guess, I don't know how I should say that, but one of the things I'm not quite sure what Apple's thinking is, if I now go and press and hold on those words, I lose that highlight option, but it's okay. You can get back into it. What you do is you press and hold on a word like I did on daughter, and then you double tap the word. At least that's how I've been able to get in there. Once I do that, I can tap my note and a little sticky note type thing pops up and I'm just going to say um, just put a little quick note in there but what we could do here is add questions for our students to answer or we could put um, more explanations or ask questions about um, what could you infer from this text or what do you predict is going to happen. I mean, the possibilities are endless. But this allows us to have um, a note attached with that information. And I'm just going to tap off the text by coming over here in the white space in my book here. And what I want you to notice is now not only is the text highlighted because I told it to be highlighted, but I also now have a note that's available to me in the margin and when I tap on that note it pops back up so I can see the information that's there. So two really quick um, tips for using information inside text simply by pressing 
on a word to bring it up uh, to select it and you can get the definition or highlight it or add a note into your books that you have available. I think this is a wonderful tool for educators um, and for personal use alike.